Shalom, everyone. Shalom, people of God. I go by the name Ruben Mike. I'm also known as UBMC. Well, if you're joining us for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Please ensure you go below this video and click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. This video promises to be very interesting. Please ensure that you have your earpiece plugged in. Ensure that your phone is on a landscape mode as we move right ahead. Let's go. So today we are going to be talking about this man. This man is not a top government official. This man is not a general or navy officer, like you may be thinking. Don't let his shoes deceive you, he's not a hip hop star. <laughs> and this man is definitely not a popular actor or TV celebrity, although I'm thinking of the possibility of him being an actor. This man is supposed to be a prophet. Without further ado, let me introduce to you the man we're talking about today, Prophet Jeremiah Omotofufein. So, I came across this uh, video of Prophet Jeremiah Omotofufein and I analyzed that video at first, although we'll be analyzing it again in this video. But personally, I analyzed the video and I realized that there are some men who are just out there to take advantage of people. Knowing that there are people out there that can do anything to get themselves out of their situation, they can go to any lane to solve their problems. Some are just looking for one higher power to just come and say, okay, do this, I'm going to take your problem away. So some men just claim that God called them and started taking advantage of people in the name of God. And uh, we are going to analyze this video now and let's see the conclusion you are also going to come, come to. What you're actually seeing on your screen right now is a video of Prophet Jeremiah praying to God concerning a program he's about to do. It's not a movie. It's a video, a video coverage where the prophet is on a mountain in his church, located in his church compound. So he's on this mountain and he's asking God to give him the master key of David, according to him. He says he's asking God to give him the master key of David. And he wants to use this master key of David to unlock the problem of the people that people are going through this and that. Some people marriage have marital problems. Some people have uh, home problems. Some people have business problems. Some people have uh, feeding problems and so on and so forth. Then he was asking God to give him this master key and that if God will give him the master key, the master key will solve the problem of the people. So, and this is something that they were recording for the members to watch during the program so that they can be convinced that God actually gave the prophet the key that is going to solve their problem. But I need the same key of David to deliver the people that who are being locked down in different altars of darkness. But I have no power on my own, oh Lord. We need the key. We need the master key of Jesus. We need the master key, Lord. I need it. Your children are suffering. Your children are crying. Business are not moving forward. Father, I need it. Papa, marriages are not miscarriages and the rest. Father, some are looking for children. Some are looking for marriage. Some are now, they want to make it in life. Some want to go to abroad. Some of their documents have died down. They lock them down. Oh Lord. Father, I need a key of David. And then, after this intense and uh, uh, powerful prayer, <laughs> if you permit me to say, after this intense and powerful prayer, heaven opened and keys were raining down from heaven, just as you're about to see right now. Jeremiah, my humble servant, I have heard your cry. I have given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. It is the master key. With it, whatever you bind here on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be lose in heaven. Go and give it to my children. As they follow your instructions, they will succeed and testify. Lord, I thank you for the grace you have now released unto me. 
in order to set your people free, in order to deliver your people, your children that were in bondage. Lord, I can see the keys of David. It is written, whatever thing that be locked right in heaven, no man can open. And whatever thing that be open right in heaven, no man can be locked it up. Father, I have seen the Lord, the greatness of the Lord, and the grace of the Lord. I have seen the keys of David right in my hand. Oh my God, my God, God, you have done it. Now it is time for you to come over this program. Brethren, come and receive your key. The authority has been given to me. This is just so funny. This is just so funny. I, I, I know some of you are already laughing. Had he been there and said that this is just a skit or maybe a comedy video or uh, just a movie they were using to while away time, it would have been reasonable. But imagine a prophet putting up a show like this, uh, showing that heaven opened and sending somebody to go to the studio to go and record a, a voice and be saying that uh, I, my, my beloved servant, let the people listen to you, any instruction you give to them, they should listen. Yeah, I know that whatever door you open in heaven, is that how God speaks? Is that how God talks? That's error number one. Then two, you have to, how did the camera, how was the camera able to move to the cloud to go and cover the space and show us the planets and how the key left from the cloud and came inside the church compound? Then the keys were now splashing on his on the mountain. Then the keys poured. Then he now started packing the keys and said, Oh, God has given me the keys. So come to the program and come and get a key that, <laughs> that he claimed that God. Is that how God gives key? That's error number one. Now, I don't want to waste my time talking unnecessarily. I will just bring out two major points that proves that this man is a false prophet and that this video is not authentic. So, first of all, let's, let's agree that this key that Jeremiah Fufei received is from God. Let's first assume, let's assume that it was from God. Let's assume that this video, the voice that we had in the video was really God. How come you already knew the shape of the key that God was supposed to send and you're already putting on the t-shirt? How come that under your video, there's already a model of the key displaying under your video. A key that you don't even know how it looks like. You are expecting God to send you the key. I, I don't know if God has sent it to you before. Maybe this is the second time. So the, the one that now God now sent is not looking exactly like the t-shirt that, <laughs> that you are wearing. This is just a sign that it was pre-planned. You already have your people acting film around you that are shooting you. That okay, when I say God send me the key, then you now put in the uh, studio voice that would act as if it's God. Then you bring a video that will show sky so that people will think that the key was coming from God. And when you now descend and fall, I will now raise, raise it up and say, You that are having problem, come and meet me, I'll give you the key. Hmm? Is that not exactly what happened? Because we can see on your screen that the key, a key that looks like what came down is already showing. You already have the key on your shirt. Can God give you a key that you already have already seen it? Who are you deceiving? That's error number one. Now, error number two. As I was watching this video, I got to one point. The editor is so bad at editing. Even if you want to cover up a lie, you don't know how to cover up a lie. As I was listening to the video, underneath the voice of Prophet Jeremiah, I had action. I'm going to play that video for you right now. I had to repeat it three times so that you can be sure that you had that word action. Action is something we use. I'm into movies myself. Action is a word we use when we are acting a movie. So this has shown that they were only acting it out. They were only acting. So if you are using action, that shows that it's, it's acting. So it's not real. God didn't give any key. They were only acting it out. This has proven it. So in case anybody wants to come out and say, ah, no, they were actually acting, oh, they were acting, it's not, it's not as if maybe God gave him anything, he's only acting it to show the people that he received it, that was acting. Now, if you are acting something, why would you sell something from, from a movie to people in reality <laughs> to, to buy and claim it's from God? You know, there are movies where 
people sell souvenirs from movies you know to people to buy and people buy because they love the movies they know it's a movie but this one you say god gave you something whereas it's a movie you are only acting it is it is that not deceit what do you mean by deceit what's deception now <laughs> some will be like eh, okay yes we know it's a movie so what are you insinuating now what are you saying now first of all a pastor is not a clown a minister of god is not a clown he's not supposed to be clowning in the name of god that's the first proof that is the first prophet you don't clown in the name of god say god does you're clowning a minister of god a so-called prophet of god that's one then two news later got to me that this prophet was selling these keys for a hundred thousand naira Father, telling people to, you to, 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 to use this key to open their problem and open your business, create, creating fake open testimonies your regarding open your this key you begin to do like this all over his church i'll just play a few videos then we'll call it a day i know a lot of people want to come to the conversation to come and say a lot of nasty things but the deed has been done false prophets are to be exposed the eyes of the innocent are to be opened this is what god wants god wants every false prophet to be exposed because when we keep quiet things like this innocent christians innocent christians will fall victim of this kind of thing but when innocent christians are exposed to to uh, uh, get to see that these people are false they get delivered now jokes apart the key of david the key of jesus christ is he a literal key is he a literal key that can open any a door, physical door why are people so daft and why are people so, i don't know what english to use lord have mercy by revelation the key of david is the lord jesus christ is the personality of jesus not a literal key what i don't just know what to say brother please go to the comment section drop your comment please don't forget to subscribe in case you have not done so please tell me how you feel about this video and uh, god bless you see you some other time i remain ruby mekai kiri bmc god bless you Hey, Yapasu Kataraba, come and receive your grace. The key of David has been handed over unto my life. Hey, the key of David has now taken over. Oh, yeah, 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 over everywhere.